You know, um, sound is your first sense that is fully developed. And even if you're not born yet, after five months, after gestation, your inner ear is fully developed. So you can hear much better that you can see, touch, smell or feel before you're born. And that is certainly a profound experience for any baby inside your mom. And for me, obviously, it probably was a very profound experience for 5.1 because of the LFE, low frequency effect channel, the heartbeat, the breathing and everything. Joke aside, I think that we are all, you know, raised inside our mothers with sound being the first sense that is really developed nicely. And the moment we are born, it's pushed back into subconsciousness. But fortunately, my parents confronted me with classical music very early on and I grew up in, in a, you know, a lot of nature. So I kind of uh, grew up in uh, natural acoustic environments and that obviously laid the foundation for my fascination and passion for audio and for sound. I don't own any winds, of course, because the wind is out there, you know. But I always love to record wind and also water, actually, because it's movement, you know. Wind is movement of air and water is movement of water, yeah. I mean, streams, drops, waterfalls, whatever, uh, very small winds, howling winds, storms, whatever. So it's movement and movement means development and change. And it is something that is a uh, very vital element in life, you know. Mm -hmm. Still stand is not good at all in any aspect and so wind and water are symbols of that you are also on a journey and you're also changing, you know, as a human being in, in so many ways. And that's maybe the reason why I love to record these sounds so much. It's very, they are very puristic. They need also other things to make a sound, you know. They need a, a, a grass, they need a branch, they need an edge to be heard as wind. Or water needs the other molecules, needs the rock, needs, you know, twists and turns to be perceived as water, needs, uh, you know, the, 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 the riverbed or whatever. So it's a very interesting kind of also uh, give and take that makes the sound of the wind and the water and I was always fascinated by it. It really gives a distinct uh, uh, improvement over 5.1. It's really noticeable, yeah, it's really noticeable. Uh, similar then from stereo to 5.1 you suddenly have the planar surround thing. Now you get this uh, level up and I think the height component is interesting. Yeah? I like the height component because it uh, changes the timbre, it changes the sound color which is very nice to a more natural feeling. It uh, helps you to detach the sound more from the loudspeaker which I think is also very nice uh, to have. I think 9.1 to be very practical is a still manageable compromise for on a larger scale. Uh, I was obviously passionate enough to convince people to uh, you know, help me along the way and uh, I found other crazy people that were also fascinated by the ideas I had so I had a couple of people who helped me you know, construct uh, the rigs I wanted. And, but again, it's another tool that I use which is of secondary importance because the most important thing is what you do with it and what uh, you know, the perceptional result is.